All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Red Dead Redemption walkthrough, episode seven. We try our luck again with this part right here. See that hostage got shot in the head. I can't, I can't help it, man. Woo! Uh. This revolver is a beast. Got a high rate of fire, yo. Look at that thing. You want some? Oh. You want to shoot, tough guy. Huh. Right, let's try to hit him from the back. Oh. Look what, look what we have in here. Can I shoot this dude? There you go. Woo, bitch. Get shot in your head, son. All right, let's see if we can get up in here and save the hostages this time. What y'all doing? Where y'all going? Who's this? Who's this guy? Give yourself up. We can end this piece. <laughs> Why are you chasing that girl like that? Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. What, what you about to do? Oh, okay. He's protecting her. I thought he was trying to take her to the shack and get some ass. Well, I'm going to be none of that today, pimping. I've been known the cock block during my walkthroughs. This would have been no different. All right. Let's loot the bodies once more. I ain't getting fresh. Did he make little jokes when he digging in their pockets? It's a classy guy, man. All right, so let me go plan. Let's get up in the crib. Well, I'm curious to see hell. You better be. Why wow, she's screaming? I didn't even get up there yet. Man, you scared the shit out of me. You can't be doing that. You almost got killed, brother. Good thing we can't kill our teammates or our um, allies, because that boy would have been all types of shot in the head. All right, man, you ain't got to be all neat. Open this, steal what you need, and get out. I'll take that $3. I'll take that 3 bucks. All right, we're about to go upstairs in a second. Try and make sure we... You check everything, of course. Got any books? Yo, can I sit down and play some ragtime music? No. Why not? Ain't you a pretty little thing? I'm gonna enjoy this! Come on, man. I shot you in your head, bro. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Oh, thank God. Oh, is there anything up here we missed? What's this? Oh, I was hoping that was like, man, when we gonna get this shoddy, though? Damn you. All right, hold on. We gotta check these drawers. We know there's stuff in here. Man, will you hurry the fuck up? We don't have time for that, man. Well, why do you keep checking the cabinets? That's a good question. Y'all know I ain't right in the head. Look out over there! Whoa. Deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. Oh. They said they were going to kill us all. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. How do you switch? How do you switch? Oh, there we go. Why didn't y'all tell me? Nobody. T well, I'm sure by the time I get this video up, somebody will have told me how to activate Dead Eye. This is I know how to do it now. You, mister. Chewing tobacco. Who who is chewing? To that is nothing cool about that. I swear to goodness. I swear to goodness. All right, let's go ahead and meet up with the marshal. We done. We done good, boys. Chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to 
supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk ain't men. You ain't nothing. You're just some man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. Anna, boy, we gotta get after those bandits. All I'm saying is if you want me to sit up here, you ain't gonna be about that disrespect. I will shoot you in your head. I'm telling you. Yes. These are people's lives. Sometimes people gotta die. It's a small sacrifice for greatness. All right, let's meet up with the boys. This mission is not quite over yet. Man, they gonna leave me? Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and catch up. These dudes straight left me back there. Yeah. What's your favorite wage in any way, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. If this is how you treat your family. I'd hate to. Is that somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! I mean, I know there's no rule. I mean, if it's me, I'm not letting you get off the horse. I'm going to shoot you and the horse right in the head. Stay in cover. Watch your head. Whoa. Let's now. Go. Let's go. What you talking about? Huh? Who else wants some? Woo! So you ain't know we knew how to get shot of your head, bitch. What you talking about, man? They didn't know we knew how to use this dead ass. Now, how do you fill this meter back up, though? Damn it, there's more of them. Okay, it just fills back up naturally. Try to get him shot off that horse. Let's go. Woo! Get out of here. Got that Bill Cosby winter coat on. Lay it down. Why do you want to die? Oh. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. <laughs> nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. I say, did we do it? I, I see us. We're doing great things, y'all. We're doing, we're doing great and wonderful things. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can use our campsite now. After it's done saving. I'm so excited. Y'all didn't tell me how to use dead eye. You mother, y'all play. Y'all like me to F up so you can laugh at my failure like when I fell off the cliff and my horse just died. And then he gutted the horse and took the meat. You can't, you can't treat these animals this way, man. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel. Back to Armadillo we go. Because it looks like we're going to try to help 
the marshal once more. I didn't even realize I went to those other places. I, I don't remember visiting Thieves Landing, but there are like two side missions I need to do. Because I've accepted some stuff from strangers. Um, one of them is in Thieves Landing. I think I got to help somebody get their son back or stop some man from cheating out there. He out there trying to bust nuts and all the hoes, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember. All right. Ooh. All right, hold on. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to Let's go. Oh wait. I have no more no more stuff to do over there. But I do have something we can do right here. Do not give false testimony, except for profit. So this is that guy we saved, the older guy. What's his name? Dickens? Whatever his name is. He owes us big and he already said it, so. Maybe we can actually get some great things from him. Some stuff we can actually use. I'm hoping to use a sniper rifle. Well, ain't no telling when when that's going to happen. If that's even on here. I don't know. Ain't nothing like a good, clean kill from a mile away. You, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. Uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. So you had the cure for eight? You said you could cure everything. What about them eights? I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with a collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. And I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Tiago or Cassio me. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my time. After stolen virtues, Stay on the road! You're going to destroy the merchandise! I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress.
Such as? 